Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how you can create canvas buttons using my Canva template. So the first step, you're gonna open up the link for the Canva template and you're going to click use template for new design. So then of course you're gonna to have to log into your Canva account. I have logged into my Canva account. I've made a copy of the Canva template and now I can use this template to create buttons by simply just changing the text. So I'm going to change the text here and do, let's write module one. I'm gonna make this my module one button. I'm gonna come down here and delete this and do module two and so on. I'm gonna stop there just for the sake of time. Now that I have my buttons, what I'm gonna do is come over to the share button in the top right corner of Canva and we are going to download these images as PNGs. So it already has the suggested uh, PNG file type which is great. I'm also going to click transparent background because I think that makes the button really nice depending on the color uh, that you choose as your background in canvas. And then for this I only created two buttons so we're going to do pages one and two click done and download those two buttons. I now have my Canvas homepage open. We can see the rich content editor here, which is the text box essentially with all the tools. And I'm going to add my two buttons that I downloaded onto my computer from Canva into Canvas. So uh, all I'm gonna do is click on this image icon right here and we're going to upload an image from the computer. When I click upload image, a rocket ship will appear, which I will click on and then my files will pop up. You can see here I have the file where I have my two buttons right here and I'm actually going to just do one at a time. So we'll do the first one, submit, and it will download. And now to change up the size of this image, we can either, you know, click the corners and drag it to make it smaller, or you can actually click image options. And I actually like to do percents. So let's do, I want it to go across the page at 30%. Done. So now it's 30% across the page. We're going to upload our second image here. Module two, you'll see it's really big again. We're going to do image options, percent, and then 30% done. And then I actually even might do a couple spaces in between the two of them. The next thing I wanna do is center this. So I'm gonna click right after the button and then actually go to the front. So you can see my cursor right there and then I'm going to select center alignment so it's centered on the page. Now that these are nice and centered, we're going to turn them into actual buttons by adding a link. So we'll select the first one. I am going to come up to this link button. We're not gonna do an external link, although that is an option if you'd like, but I'm going to actually click course link because I want this button to be attached to my first module. So I'm gonna click module one, and then I'm going to select the next button and click module two. Then I'll hit save. We'll get a good glimpse or view of what this page looks like. And then I should be able to click on each button, test it out. Great, that went to module one. I'm gonna go back, click on the second button, and it takes me to module two down here, which is fantastic. Now I have two great buttons in my Canvas course that I created with a Canva template that direct my students to appropriate places in their course. Hope this helps.